How you doing? I'm JB with Discovery Bay Comics, and I buy, read, collect, and sell comic books right here on YouTube. If that sounds like something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Today, I want to talk about these 12 comic books that I posted in a video on my Instagram July 19th. Now, I sent these to my cleaner presser, Chris at Gamma Ray Comics, and then of course he forwarded them off to CGC. If you want to find out what grades I got, here are the graders notes, and most importantly, get that fair market value for these books at those grades, you know what to do. Welcome back to another Discovery Bay Comics production. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, so let me set this up. On July 19th, I posted a video on my Instagram with these 12 books saying, hey, these are the next 12 books that I'm sending to Gamma. Chris at Gamma Ray Comics is my cleaner impressor, and one of the things I love is that he posts videos of some of the books fresh out of the press. So we're gonna see the grades on those three books that he had posted on his Instagram. Now, as I mentioned, I sent these off on July 19th. Now, CGC received these September 14th and turned around and shipped them out November 11th. Are you ready? It's time to find out what grades we got on these, I'm going to share the graders notes and most importantly, let's find out the fair market value. Okay, so I'm going to go in the order in which I put posted them on Instagram. And the first book we've got is Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Let's check out some of the information from cover price. Now, this book is going for about 40 bucks raw. As a matter of fact, one just sold last January, but the fair market value on a raw book is about $57.31. It doesn't show any graded sold though. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. So let's see what we got. All right, great start. We've got ourselves a 9.8. Let's see what the fair market value is for a 9.8. Oh man, there's no sales in the second print of this at a 9.8. Hmm, we're gonna have to revisit that one later. All right, next up, we've got Stray Dogs number one, cover A. Originally published in February of 2021 from Image Comics. Let's see what the cover price info has on it. It says this book's going for about $62 raw. As a matter of fact, one sold just two days ago. The fair market value on raw is about 50 bucks. And a 9.8 is going for $187. Let's see what we got. 9.8. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out that FMV again. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just mentioned it. That's right. $187 for the 9.8. Great start. Two 9.8s. All right. Next up, we've got Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. Issue number one. I did the custom label on this one. Let's take a look at the market information on it. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, a 9.8 in this is going for $761. There's no way that this is a 9.8. This was a personal copy. So uh, I'll be lucky if we, any, anything in the nines, I'll be happy with. Um, it looks like the FMV in a 9.8 is about 844 bucks and a raw comic is still going for $112. Let's see what we got. Oh, 9.4. Let's check the notes on this one. Okay, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man number one, light scuffing to cover, light spine stress lines to cover. Man, I was happy with anything over a nine on this. Let's check the FMV. Looks like a 9.4 is currently FMV fair market value of about $125 up 2%. All right, next up we've got Star Wars Canon The Last Padawan, issue number one, the Bam Phil Noto variant. Originally published in April of 2015 from Marvel Comics, and this is a key first appearance of Canon Jarrus, Ezra Bridger, Sabine Wren, and Zebarilius. It looks like a 9.8, and this guy's going for about 170 bucks, and the FMV on a raw is about $48. Hmm, let's see what we got. 9.6 well man let's check the notes canon the last padawan number one graders notes light creasing to cover light scuffing to cover light spine stress lines to cover you know i picked this up on instagram for like 10 bucks so i'm still way up, up, up on this one looks like a 9.6 still has an fmv of about 104 dollars all right next up we've got black adam endless winter special the boss logic 
Variant, originally published in December of 2020 from DC Comics. I picked this thing up off the shelf. I remember buying this at the LCS, paid cover price. Sent it off, I wonder what I got. Let's check the market value on this one. Uh, the last recorded sale was on November 14th, the raw at $24. Looks like a 9.8 is going for $198 FMV. And this one is actually one of the ones that Gamma pressed. So let's take a look at this video and tell me what you think. Is this 9.8 status? I mean, she's pretty. She was, I don't think I actually even read it. You know what gets me on these? I, I, I bet you, <laughs> I bet you there's gonna be something on the back. It's always something on the back that gets you, isn't it? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, 9.6. Oh, okay, and no notes on the 9.6. All right, well, at least we could check out the FMV, see what that goes for in a 9.6. $54, hmm, we need more sales in that one. This is gonna get hot when this movie releases though. All right, next up, we've got X-Men, issue number 244, originally published in May of 1989 from Marvel Comics. And this is a key first appearance of Jubilee. There was a last recorded sale was a raw comic, $67. And it looks like the raw fair market value is about 50 bucks. A 9.8 in this is going for $384, but this has zero chance of being a 9.8. I'll tell you that. I'd be happy with a nine. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 9.2. Let's check the notes on that one. So 9.2, creasing left bottom of back cover, back cover, light finger bends on cover, light spine stress lines to cover i'm happy with this grade folks i was expecting a nine a 9.2 going for 99 dollars fmv all right next up we've got one of my favorites wolverine issue number one originally published in november of 1988 from marvel comic all right let's check the market information on this book this is a key comic wolverine's first solo appearance now the last recorded sale was 485 dollars in a graded 9.8 just two days ago november 21st and the fair market value on a 9.8 is $466. A raw comic is averaging $58.40 on the FMV. Let's see what we got. 9.0, look at that. I've, I've, I've never gotten any higher than a 9.0 on this book. Let's check the notes. Wolverine number one, light scuffing to cover, light spine stress lines to cover, light staining to cover, a uh, CGC 9.0 still has an FMV of $93.93. Let's get to the next book. All right. The next book we've got is the all new Marvel Now Point One issue number one. Originally published in January of 2014 from Marvel Comics. Now, this is the first full appearance of Miss Marvel Kamala Khan and... The last recorded sale was $141 for a raw dog back on November 20th. A graded 9.6 has an FMV of $526 and a raw has an FMV of $144. Again, anything over a nine, I'm gonna be happy with. Let's see what we got. 9.2, man, let's check the notes on this one. Light creasing to cover, light scuffing to cover. A 9.2 still has an FMV of $262. That's a winner. All right, next up we've got G.I. Joe, a real American hero issue number one, originally published in June of 1982 from Marvel Comics. This is a key comic with the first appearance of Hawk, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Cobra Commander, and Baroness. Also, this is a book that we've got the press on. Thank you to Gamma Ray for posting these on Instagram. And also note, this is the first purchase I've ever made on Whatnot. That is correct. I purchased this on Whatnot. Uh, so man, let's see, let's see what we got on this one. I mean, I mean, honestly, anything over a nine, I'll, I'll be happy. I only paid a hundred dollars for this book. Oh, 9.4. Oh, yes. Let's check the notes on that one. A 9.4. Light creasing to cover. Light spine stress lines to cover. I bought this for 100 bucks on whatnot. CGC 9.4 has an FMV of $336.30. All right. Next up, we've got Marvel Team Up Issue 141. Originally published in 
February of 1984 from Marvel Comics. Let's check the notes on this one. This is key comic. Because of an early appearance of the black costume, this is two weeks after Amazing Spider-Man issue 252. Now, the last recorded sale was a raw dog at $79. November 21st, the raw dog actually, the raw has an FMV of $67 and a 9.6 has a graded fair market value of $359. But I'll tell you, I've never had any luck with this book. Um, I think I've graded this book three or four times and always gotten either an eight, five or a nine. Let's see what we got. Ah, another eight, five. There you go. Let's check out the notes on that one. Uh, crease, right, top, back cover, crease, right, top, front cover. And an 8.5 has an FMV of about 150 bucks. All right, let's get to the next one on the list. We've got. Amazing Spider-Man issue 252, originally published in January of 1984 from Marvel Comics. This is a key comic book. It's the first appearance of Spider-Man in the black costume, and it predates the Marvel team of 141 and the spectacular Spider-Man number 90 by two weeks. This last recorded sale was $245 for a raw comic on November 19th, and this book has a graded fair market value in 9.6 of Five hundred and forty-three dollars. Man, a raw has a uh, has an FMV of two hundred and two dollars. This is also one that we got a pre uh, a video of the press. Uh, I can see a few spine ticks. I knew there was a few spine ticks on this. I I don't know. Again, anything into the nines, I would probably be pretty, pretty pumped with. Let's see what we got. Oh, 8.5 again with the 8.5. All right, let's take out the notes on this one in the FMV. Light scuffing to cover, light spine stress lines to cover. I saw the spine stress. There was definitely some ticks on there. I was hoping for a 9. 8.5 is all right with me. CGC 8.5 has an FMV of $240. And the final book. We've got Amazing Spider-Man issue 316 from June of 1989. Marvel Comics. This is the third appearance of Venom. First full Venom cover, which can be argued. Uh, last recorded sale, $166.50, November 19th. As a matter of fact, a Raw has an FMV of $193. And the graded fair market value of a 9.8 is $1,104. Folks, if this is a five, I would be impressed because this was a low grade copy but I figured, let's throw it in there. You never know. Ooh, Gamma turned that into a seven and a half. Good work, my friend. Good work. Uh, let's check out the notes on that one and the FMV on that one. Moderate spine stress lines to cover. Tanning on the back cover. Now he's tanning. I mean, I knew it when I sent it in. There was tanning on the back cover. 7.5. Still has an FMV of about $85. And there you have it. All 12 books. What did you guys think of that one? I bet you've never seen a CGC unboxing like that. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the books that you saw in this video, hit me up on Instagram or check me out at the link in the description below. Don't forget to check the description below for our new Linktree link. From there, you can get to our Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, all of our items listed on Teespring, 29 so far, and all the items listed on Shortboxed. That's right, I've got over 40 slabs listed on Shortbox. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. As always, don't forget, we had a good time. Peace.